Hello and welcome. I'm really glad you could join me today for the Friday premiere class. Today is going to be an arms and legs ladder. So with the ladders we do one of each exercise, then we do one of the next exercise, two, two, three, three, until we've used up one minute thirty. So it's quite a long stretch of music to do your exercises too. Okay, so what you'll need today is uh, preferably two sets of weights if you've got them. I'm going to go for a three and a four. My first one's going to be with a three, my first circuit. First circuit will run through twice. Okay, so if you're ready to go, you've got a mat, you've got enough room to move about in, you have got your bottle of water ready, take water breaks whenever you want, and we'll get ready to get started with that warm-up. Okay, so just march it through for me, please. Okay, let's up those arms. Just a wing up from the side. Over the top. Okay, so it's getting that reach. Add ribcage down and in. Now across the front with that shoulder. Pull back down and in. Yeah, I've got four more. I'm going to stay on this side here. Do me a little roll. Just to the arm. Good. Shoulder back down. Abs already pulled in. Now I'm going to do a runner on this leg by coming up onto my front leg and driving that knee. Okay, over the top. Over the top. Yeah. Feel that rib cage, pull down and in. Abs are really working for you. Sweep it across. Turn your hip at the same time. A little bit of oblique work there. Okay, well done. On my runner. Just on that front leg. Then I plant that back leg there. And I do that roll. Again, shoulder back and down. Good. I'm going to go into step leg curl. Step leg curl. Give me that lift through the glutes, through the hamstrings. Feel that little stretch out, possibly on the front of your thighs, depending on how tight they feel. And with the knee up, so I do a turn. And I pull back my arms. Yes, just get me that turn. Elbows goes behind the waist. I'm gonna do a step touch. The way that I'm going, I do a circle. Then I come up on my toes in the middle here. Give me the lift. Then again, do me that lift and into the middle. I'm going to walk out, walk in. Little walk out, walk in. Good. Just get that drop. Feel those glutes, feel those thighs working for you. Arms are still going to keep that heart rate up. Okay, leaving the legs out. Little punch across. Good. So everything from my hips down. Is keeping steady. Now punch it up. I'm going to bring that into the middle. Here, a little quick one. Really not really taking your feet much off the floor, just that toes. Good, and get that punch. Keeping it under control with my abs. Good, keep me that punch through. Okay, fingers on your hips. Drop down, come back up. I don't lean too far back, but feel you get that active stretch through the backs of the legs. Okay, back up to the front again, the out and down. Good, give me that drop. Good, one more. Plant the feet, punch it out. Then I'm going to bring it into the middle, the quick little runner, no ups this time, just that, feel it through the waist for that stabilisation. Okay, then I'll do that bend forward. Now if you want to, you can put one foot forward, one foot back, it feels more comfortable like that. Okay, then the other leg, I'm going to do one more on this leg, just with that drop down and come back up and give it a little shake off. Okay. So we're ready to start, so if you grab me the lighter of your two weights, I'm going to go with the three, and we'll start on that one minute, 30 seconds. Okay, so, ready to go, and we will grab our weights. Okay, on my first one, we are going to do a single arm lift. So I'm here, strong, slightly limp forward with my heel planted into the floor, one leg lift. I bring that in and I do a three drop count there. Then I'll come back and I'll do one 
then the other arm. On this is just alternate arms. And then again, it's sinking to that squat. Okay, so you've got your weights. We're getting ready to go. Last few seconds. That strong circuit there. Down. One. Come in. One, two, three. Push up. Two arms. One each. That's it. Good. One, two, three. And I've got another one here. Now remember, you've got that weight at the front. Up, up, up. Feel that ribcage down and in. One, two, three. And push up. One, two, three. And push up. One more. One, two, three. And push up. Lovely. Good. Four. Good. So we're feeling that in the front of the shoulder, but also stabilizing through those abs. You've got those abs pulled in. Two, three, and up. One, two, three. I've got two more here. Back down into that squat. Now watch that weight at the front. Doesn't take you over. Feel your weight back on your heels. Okay, lovely. Five. There's my fifth one. Here. One, two, three, and push up. I've got two more here. Go one, two, three, and one more. I'll get just a few more arms in. And well done. Okay, lovely, good. On my next one, it's gonna be a tricep pull, kick, and I'm gonna do both arms at once. And then I'm gonna come forward, and I'm just going to do a rocker here, and then back up and then lift and down. This time I'm gonna go with one leg only. Okay, ready? So both arms, good. So then I come forward, I do my little rocker here. So really keep your abs pulled in. Lift, kick out with your tricep, tricep again. Lovely, really feel that you've got that under control. My little rocker forward and then again. So it's like a dead leg lift on that front leg. Good, so I'm gonna work that front leg the whole time. Remember which leg that you've used, so you can go and do the next one. Okay, we're on threes now. This weight is here at the front, so it is tipping me forward, but it's under control. Good, two, no more. Out, straight and back, three. Okay, lift, kick back. I'm on my four this time. Four, it goes onto my chest. That dead leg lift. So that front leg, the one I'm standing on, is just slightly bent. Good, I've got one more. I just tip it forward, tip it back up. I'm on my five. Good, here, kick back nice and strong. Now remember to straighten through your elbows. Try not to lift your wrists at the end. Okay, I'm here. Go, we're coming down to single figures now. Two. I'm just gonna get that last one in. And good work, well done. Okay, on my next one, it's gonna be a Y. Out and back, step and lift. And again, I'm gonna use one leg only. One leg lift, there. Okay, so, I'm in my Y. Okay, I'm up, I'm down. I'm stepping out, give me that lift. One of each. Weight goes over with me. Should have done two on the Y, shouldn't I? Yes. Three Ys. One, two, three Ys. Step out, give me that lift. Step back in, step out, give me that lift. One more, and give me that lift. Good. Core, important in all of this. I'm now on my four. Feeling it in my shoulders, goes back on my chest. Step out, give me that lift. Good, so step out, get low. Good, one more. Feeling centered with that core. Okay, good, here we are, five. Lovely, good, stepping out, low. Give me that lift. Step in, step out, low. Good, you give me two more here now. That's it, feeling strong, getting fitter. 
Getting stronger. Six. Good, I'm stepping out, stepping out. And good work, well done. Okay, lovely. My next one, I'm gonna show you from the side, the waiter. So I'm out nice and strong, and then I'm gonna step forward on that leg, down low, push off of that leg. Woo <laughs> Pushing off and coming straight back. It'll take one or two to get used to that. Okay, so my first one's a waiter. Squeeze it back using those shoulder blades, then come forward, go down low, push off of that leg. And again, I'm gonna use the same leg all the way through. On this one, push up, good, down, and push back. Now really try to get that type of thing out. I've, I've done singles, haven't I? Sorry. Okay, two, too busy describing what we're doing. One, two, okay, we're on three, good, three, okay, step forward, three, Remember, it's through the leg. Two. One. With four. Good. Stepping out and down. Good. On my fives. Lovely, stepping forward, drop, really keep that weight under control on your chest, push off with that leg so that weight does go with you to add to your own weight. I've got two more, two, this time I'm just going to last one in, and well done, okay lovely, good. Okay, I'm going to take a little water break on this one and I'm going to start that circuit again. Okay, so. Single arm lifts, and then that squat. Okay, a single arm lift. One, two, three, and I come up. Single arm, single arm. You can have one leg back if you want to, and then bring it in for your one, two, three, and push up. One, two, three, and push up. Lovely, good. I'm now on my threes. Lovely, good. Onto your chest. Are we feeling this now? You feel it through the glutes. Also, that work on the upper back. I have to keep my shoulders. Pull back down and in. Lovely, good. On my four. And push all the way up. Just bounce it at the bottom, but under control. Good, got two more now. Good, another one. Lovely, we're on our fives. In. Good, I've got two more. Let's do that last one. Lovely, I'm back to my arms. I've got a few more seconds left. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just get that last one in. Six. Well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, this one. It was a pull back, tricep double arms, and I'm going to use my other leg to come forward on that rocker. So, whatever leg you use first, maybe it's going to be the same leg throughout this time. Okay, so then a little bit forward. Okay, so I'm pulling back, then get the kick out and back down. Lovely, good. So I'm going to step forward on that leg, little rocker. Good, pull back, kick out twice. Good, lovely. That rocker leg. Good. Up, kick back. Up, kick back. Up, kick back. Lovely, good. A little rocking leg. Good. 
Lovely, good, give me that lift. Okay, up and back, one, two, three. Remember, I'm getting it all the way out on there. Let's do one more this time. Five, make that a five, lovely, good. Step forward, give me that rocker. Okay, one more, lovely, good. Pull, kick back, six. Up, back. Three. Four. Five. We need to get those arms all the way out. Six, locks those elbows. Lovely, good work, well done. Okay, we're in that Y, and we're gonna step out to the other side this time. So the Y's for double, but I step out on one leg, I get the lift. Okay, so here's the beginning of my Y. Okay, lovely, ready? Out and up, using those shoulders back onto your chest, down. Give me that lift. Come in. Two this time. Good. That's it. Out and back. One, step back in, step back out. Two. In. Up. Feel that rib cage down and in. We're going for three this time. Whoop. Lovely, good. Step out, lift up. In. Step out, lift up. Good. Back to here, four, three, all the way out and up, two, and one, lovely, good. I'm stepping out, give me that lift. Knees are bent, then a straight leg out to the side. And lovely, good. Good, so again, it's all about balance as well. Important part of your fitness. Three, four, Five, that long lever, good. Okay, down, give me that lift out. Good, you've got me three more here. Lovely, good. Working with me here. Four, five. Lovely, good. Here we go, six. Lovely, good. Okay, so step out, step out, lift. And well done, good. Okay, lovely. Then we had that waiter. Let's step forward with one leg. I know I step forward with that right leg first, my right leg, so it's gonna be the left. Okay, so I've got that waiter, shoulders back and down, up nice and straight. Squeeze it to the back, shoulder blades coming together. Hold it onto your chest, down low, push back and off. So you come back to your start position, Two waiters, lovely, good. <sighs> Keep an eye on the uh, amounts this time, push. Lovely, three waiters. Back up to here, core pulled in nice and tight, so you know you're gonna use your leg, not your body, to get back. Down and up, good. Four. Feeling it in my biceps, feeling it behind my shoulders. Lovely, good. Down here, so again, I have that push back off that leg. Down, push back off that leg. So feel that your structure stays solid the whole time. Here we go, we're five. Well done, good, how are you feeling that? In those shoulder blades, get that squeeze. Two, three, four, five, to here. Down, push back off, and down, push back off, good. So I'm getting low over that front leg, good. And good work, well done, okay, lovely. This is where I'm gonna change it now into a higher weight, okay. Well done, so I'm going to grab a four, and my first one is a side, a snatch. So again, I'm going with my fours, my pairs. Okay, so on my snatch and lift, so it's so a low, the straight back, 
here, come up, put your legs back together again, step out to the side and give me another lift, then I'm wide again for the snatch and lift. Okay, are we ready with that? Got those weights for me? you still got a few more seconds left into that recovery. Okay, so I'm going to start off wide. I have to get down with a straight back to do that lift up. Core pulled in here, here, up. Out to the side and up. Then wide, do my snatch and lift. Good. Up. Good. Two. <laughs> Lovely. Up. Two. Lovely. Good. So again, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to the side and do that lift. Out to the side, do me that lift. Okay, so I go wide again, up, give me that lift. Lovely. Down, up. In fact, keep your legs wide on this one because otherwise we're stepping in for nothing. We have to step back out again. So let's do that. Okay, down, come up. So again, I'm using the same arm each time. Two, weight goes over with me, so off that leg. Three, okay, snatch and lift, four. Up, I'm just taking the other weight with me. You can do just the one arm if you want to, because we're going through the other arm the next time through. Good, so get low, but with a straight back. Here we go, four, and up. Lovely, good. Step out, go low, and up. Other leg goes straight. I'm good, I don't keep it into a squat. That weight travels with me. Good, so we begin to feel it now through the shoulder of this one arm. Good, I'm on five. Lift, glutes, arm, glutes, then your arm. I'm going to get one more in. And well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, this one is going to be singles, singles. And then I'm going to do a curtsy. So my first one is just one arm and one curtsy. So I'm going to waste because I'm going to do a curtsy lunge. Okay, so I'm leaning forward. I've got one arm going up. Then do me a curtsy. Next one, two. One arm up. One arm up. Curtsy. Curtsy. Good. Slightly lean forward. Lift. Two. This time it's three. Up. So you can change your legs to do the first one if you want to. So we get pretty much even on each of these. Lovely. Good. Lean it forward for me. Give me that lift. Four now. So I'm bringing them up about shoulder height. Lovely, good. Do me that curtsy, and remember, I know I'm not twisting through my curtsy because my weights are staying to the front here. Good, we're getting no twist, we don't want to twist. Here, one, two, three, four, five. Individual curtsies, whatever leg you want to start with. Good, and I've got one more. Good, lovely. It's going up. Six. Curtsy. Curtsy. Lovely, good. So I'm just pushing over on the outside of that hip, gets me up. Two more, two. And one. And well done. Okay, lovely. In the next one, I'm going to work on one arm the whole time. I'm going to do an overhead lift, squeeze it down, and then do me a plie through my legs. So I'm here. So first one, 10 to 2 of the feet. So they're going to start on my plie. First one though is over my head. Okay, so scoot it over your head, do me a plie, one of each. Over your head, over your head, two plies. Now remember my plie, my bottom's tucked in. So from the side, it looks like that. Out 10 to 2. 1, 2, 3. My ribcage stays down and low. Plie. 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 4. Lovely, good. 10 to 2 of my feet. 10 to 2 of my knees. Lovely, good. Feel you get that little squeeze on the inside thigh as you come up. Five. That slow drop. Lovely good. It travels with me. 
just in that plie, bottom tucked in, three, good, two more, four, five, up and over, give me that scoot, rib cage down and in, zip and hollow on, belly button pulled in, got one more, lovely, plie, six, four, three more to go, three, two, one, scoot it over, Lovely, good. Okay, we are going on the floor for our last little one in this circuit. Okay, so I'm going to use one weight again. I'm just going to use the same arm that I've been using all the way through when I've done my singles. And what I'm going to do is that this lower leg here is going to have a weight behind the knee. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to be here. Okay, so I'm going to do a tricep, push through from here, try not to use this other arm. It's a push through, and then I'm going to come to the back here, and I'm going to do an inside thigh. Then I go back down, two here, and then two on the legs. Okay, so it has to be on the bottom leg, because that's the one that's going to go out and down and fight against gravity to get back up. Zip and hollow on the whole time, tricep working on the way up. Okay, so still got a few seconds left. Okay, zip and hollow on, push through your tricep, back onto your hip, and then the lower, open and close. One, two, so again, I have to really push through here, get to my back, one, two. Now watch on the lift that you don't swing your legs. One, two, three, I can feel it in my obliques as well here, and one, two, that in thigh. Three, I'm just on one hip, one shoulder. Okay, drop it forward, come back over. Four, push through that tricep. Good, three, lovely, four. Well done. Onto your side back there. One, two, three, four, and now on my fifth one. Push it up and push up. Next time round, you'll be on your other side. One more for me. Give me that push up through that tricep. Lovely. Onto your back, put your other arm out. Five, four, three, two. That work is building up now on my inside thigh, especially if you've gone with that heavier weight on this one. Okay, one, two, three, four. This arm, five, just there. Five, six, lovely, good. Back on, inside thigh. Zip and hollow on. And well done, good, okay, lovely. I'm gonna to come to standing up again to do my next set, my next circuit. Okay, so we are back up. I lifted with two, but it's a snatch and lift on that one, the side step out. Okay, so I'm on the other side here. So drop down, snatch, lift it up. I stood back in, back out. Come back in, do me the lift. Okay, lovely. Now that it's two, keep your legs out wide on those two, and then you can step back in to do me that here. One. This other arm can just be two traveling with you with that weight. Lovely. Three. Snatch and lift, up and strong. Good. Two. Three. Lovely. Bringing it in out, let that weight travel with you, but keep it under control, feel it in the legs, so just get that little push off, good, lovely, out, four, snatch, and lift, lovely, up, keep it under control, that core pulled in, that belly button in towards the spine, and push through the legs, lovely, good, here, out, down, lift it up, two, three, so that shoulder begins to feel it as well, especially if you go with that heavier weight, four, lovely, good, here we go, five, here up, one, oh, push through the legs, two, good, three, and push up, okay, well done, good, 
Okay, the crank lift, which we were on alternates. So it's a little lean forward, the crank up goes to my shoulder height, and then I choose one leg, and then we'll go curtsy. So feet just slightly wider than the hips. Do that little lean forward, your abs are pulled in, your shoulders are back and down. Okay, here we go. One. Okay, and then I've done one curtsy. Okay, lovely. Then one, two, and then I've done two curtsies, and they're all turn it. So we'll turn the arms. Good. One, two. You can put them on your chest if you feel happier with it there. Okay. Feel that that core is keeping you stable. Good. And not getting you to do that twist. When you do that curtsy, every comes facing forward. Lovely, good. One, two, three, four. Lovely, good. Do me that curtsy. Okay, going for five. Little lean forward, but with your abs definitely pulled in, protecting your lower back as you get that crank out. Lovely, good. And five. Lovely, good. On my six. Lovely, good. If you want to on your chest, you just leave them hanging at the front and work that plie. Okay, good work, well done. Okay, on this one, I just chose the one weight. Lovely, good. My feet started off in the plie because that's where I'm going to be. I've done the overhead scoop, then one plie squat. Remember, zip and hollow on so your bottom stays tucked in. Okay, so over the head, drop down and up two over the head and remember to guide it back into your waist good and then up three one good how are we doing lovely good one two three lovely good up here four two three four your plie so remember as your knees go out they should cover your toes don't leave your knees to drop in. Really work those glutes. Lovely. And they're really working that lower part of your glute. Just before your bottom comes your leg. Good. So again, we can get that nice definition. Five, four, just check your knees. Three, they're in line with your toes. Two, and one. Okay, six. Up, up. Lovely, good. Down and up. Good. Six. Lovely, good. I'm still in that 10 to 2 with my feet. This arm is now beginning to feel pretty tired. And I know it still has to do my triceps. Four, five, six, woo, seven. Lovely, good. Okay, so I'm down on my side. This is tucked under my bottom leg, because that's the one that's gonna to have to do the work. Then my knees are at the front. This arm is just out of the way. These can just travel as a pair. Have them like that there. Okay, so this time, just one push up through my tricep, dropping onto my side of my back there, and it's one down and up. Okay, and now really feel that your core has a lot of control here, because here, you're lifting both of those legs plus one weight before you get that inner thigh work. Back to the front. So don't go too fast. Work at your own pace that you can keep good form on. Lovely, good. I'm rolling back. My zip and hollow is on the whole time. Three on my leg. Lovely, good. Back to the front. This is your last circuit now. Last bit of the last circuit. Three, four. Lovely, good. Back, out and in. So the work begins to build up on that inner thigh. My zip and hollow is definitely on. Good, lovely. Dropping down. Good. 
Lovely, back onto your back. Five, four, three, two, one. Dropping down. Push through that tricep. Four, five, six. Back onto your lower back there. Keep that zip and hollow on. Open that leg out. One, two. This try and keep stable the whole time. And good work, well done. Okay, lovely. You can stay where you are. I'm gonna take that timer off for you. And we can do a little stretch out. And I'm gonna start with myself lying down, taking a nice big body stretch through. So again, just getting that stretch out on the arms. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little zip and hollow here. Lovely, good. And then really feel like you're getting that full stretch out for me, please. Lovely, good. Big stretch out. I'm just going to take that music off, concentrate on our stretches. So a little bit of ab work going on. It is tight through the middle here. My rib cage has come up. Now arch the back up and really feel that you can reach that little bit further. So I've got that big gap now underneath my waist. Okay, then you come down and through. Okay, lovely. I'm going to put one foot on the floor, then the other foot on the floor. One leg goes up. And then I'm slowly going to bring that hamstring, hamstring stretch in. So try and keep your hips on the floor. Other leg can be out long if you want it to be, or foot on the floor. Okay, lovely, just getting that push through. Okay, well done, then I'm going to do crossover leg like that there. Bring it through, just a classic glute stretch. And then I'm going to pull that other leg that back leg towards me, knees gone out. Lovely, that leg goes down. Take that leg off. I've already got hold of my other leg for my hamstring stretching. So I'm just pulling that in. And again, the work comes from that, from those repetitions, but also you can choose the weight that you want. You can keep going, try that with that heavier weight first if you've got that option where you are. Okay, reach through for that thigh, glute stretch, my knee is out, my forearm is on the inner side of my thigh, keeping that knee out and then pulling that in to get the good glute stretch all the way through. Lovely, good. Okay, I'm going to put that leg up. Good to look at it. Leg goes down, I come up. I'm going to go down into a downward dog position. So I'm just going to up, push through, and really feel that you're getting that upper back stretch. Now, our upper back had a lot of work to do on this session today because all those lean forwards when you're using your legs, you're also using your upper back because those weights went with you at the front. Yes, again, really working those postural muscles, upper backs, lower backs, we're standing up straight when we do. Okay, lovely, just bend the knees slightly, come back, rock back onto your heels there, and then I'm just going to open out my legs there and drop down through and push my knees out. So you're going to get an inner thigh stretch on both inner thighs at once. Okay, I'm just dropping my bottom down, Okay, hands just onto your thighs there, push down and then come up, and then push back down and come up. I'm going to do one more, pushing down and then rolling it back up. Well done, good. Okay, lovely. I'm going to come up, just doing a little lift up. My rib cage comes away from my hip bone. If you want to, you can pull that down. Elbow goes up to the ceiling. Lovely, good. And then on the other side, And coming up. Okay, lovely. I'm going to do a little swoosh through with the arms. Just get that blood back into those arms. Little swoosh and come up and come up nice and tall. Little swoosh and come up. And one more. Little swoosh through and come up. Then drop it down to the front. Feel that you're concave slightly. So again, you're really reaching out, stretching that upper half all the way down through the spine to the waist. Okay, then bring that back in that big breath in and then using your abs 
blowing out, giving that a little shake through. Okay, well done on those ladders, because it is that about that repetition, that you can choose the weights that you want to do, so you're going to get a really good workout from it. Hope you enjoyed it, I certainly did, and I will see you again next time. Okay, bye-bye for now.